Hello friends, color code issues in the optical fiber cable and their simplest solutions. Exactly, in today's video, we will analyze, discuss and see what are the different types of issues that an optical fiber technician or an optical fiber engineer face in the field or during the installation or during the troubleshooting. So first of all, uh, I would request you guys if you are new to this channel please subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to press the notification bell icon so that you can receive the updates of every new video which is going to be uploaded on this channel so without wasting time let's directly move towards the topic color code let's make it simple by explaining what is color code for those who are not familiar with the color codes of the optical fiber cable so the color code is the sequence or the order that has to be followed by the optical fiber cable technician or engineer during the troubleshooting during the resplicing during the installation of the odfs or patch panels if you do not follow the proper color code or the standard color code during the troubleshooting installation or splicing you will never ever be able to light up that fiber to bring up that network which has gone down due to some issue due to some excavation or due to some natural disasters so you have to follow that color code what is that standard color code very simple the color code it starts from blue with count number one followed up to 12 blue orange green brown gray white red black yellow violet pink and aqua you have to follow this color code which is very simple you can remember this color code or else you can have the list of this color code correct so this was very simple and for example if you are having a 36 fiber count optical fiber cable so naturally or generally you should have three buffer tubes so the sequence that i told you the color scheme the color scheme is actually followed by the uh, buffer tubes inside the cable as well let's make it more simple friends for example i have an optical fiber cable with me it has an outer jacket i remove the outer jacket i will find the central member strength inside that cable plus the buffer tubes buffer tubes are also following these color code scheme that i explained earlier it starts from fiber cable and that buffer tubes actually also follows the same color scheme the same color code that i told you earlier that has to be followed during the fiber break when you are doing a re-splicing or when you are installing the patch panels means you have to splice the blue buffer tube with the blue buffer tube and also you have to follow the same color code scheme inside that buffer tubes so the scheme is same that i told you so generally actually the vendors make it very simple they divide uh, the cable into buffer tubes and put 12 fibers inside each buffer tubes blue buffer tube has 12 fibers starting from blue ending up to aqua 12 fiber counts no this is very simple easy and general and we expect it but what happens if you receive unexpected fiber counts unexpected fiber cable unexpected uh, number of the fibers inside the tube let me tell you an example let me share with you uh, one of the issues that i personally faced uh, while working with the multi-mode optical fiber cable uh, we wanted 24 fiber count multi-mode om3 optical fiber cable and one of the vendors uh, that we were looking for and we were in contact they promised that they will provide us the required optical fiber cable 
So we agreed and we ordered the optical fiber cable. So when I stripped that, uh, share with you one one example where I personally faced lots of issues related to the color code um, while working on the CCTV project at one of the companies. So friends, uh, we were looking for the multi-mode optical fiber cable. And as you know that multi-mode optical fiber cable is quite rare and is not uh, available easily. So because most of the people nowadays prefer single mode optical fiber cable because of its uh, lots of benefits. So anyways, we found uh, one of the vendors who were actually providing us the multi mode optical fiber cable and that was actually OM3. So we actually ordered that we ordered. But when we received, I was surprised that uh, we were having only one buffer tube inside that optical fiber cable. So that's okay, normal. I thought that uh, this buffer tube will be having uh, repetitive colors that was expected. But I was expecting that the colors should have been differentiated. There should have been some sort of dots, some sort of dashes uh, that differentiates two same colors. But the, uh, actually situation was altered. Uh, we were having the same color code twice without any difference. So what we did, uh, I tried to ask different people. I tried to ask uh, uh, questions uh, from different YouTubers related to the optical fiber. But everybody was suggesting me, everybody was answering that there should be some sort of difference that differentiates these two colors from each other. After searching a lot and try observing physically inspecting the fibers, I was not able to find a difference uh, in the, th those two colors. So what I actually did at the end, um, I used the two blue colors for the one, two, four, the two orange color for the three, four, the two green colors for the five, six and the two um, brown colors for the seven, eight and similarly so on and so forth until 24 uh, fibers were actually installed or uh, terminated then what happens the confusion comes here that the blue color that I have used for the port number one whether that on the other side does it go to the port number one also the answer is no this is just a chance 50 50 if you are lucky enough so one of your fibers will match else they will alter but the solution is very simple friends VFL use the VFL visual fault locator what visual fault locator does it passes visible light inside the optical fiber and you will receive on the other end so I use the VFL now the possibility this condition uh, that we created for ourselves the possibility was only uh, of the altered uh, fibers within the same sequence. I mean, there was chances that port one and two are altered, similarly three and four. So changing them is quite simple, correct? So we used VFL. We checked that with the light to in make sure that port number one, which is terminated here, should ends up at the four ends ODF at port number one, correct? Because if you do not follow the sequence, you will face uh, issues uh, when you're trying to bring up the link, when you're trying to light up the fiber, correct? So uh, friends, this was the solution that we found and this was the method that we followed uh, when I faced that type of uh, color code issue. Hope that uh, you learned something from today's video. Uh, if you like the video, please do not forget to give it a thumbs up and also do not forget to subscribe uh, to this channel by supporting us. Um, and at the end, friends, if you have faced such type of issues or any other issue you are facing, please do not forget to comment below and I will try my best to find out the solution for that. And if you have any suggestions related to this video or related to this channel, if you have any improvement suggestions, please feel free to comment below. Your suggestions will be uh, accepted and will be followed. And in the end, uh, friends, Happy New Year. Thank you.